So let's do this, okay? Um, so what we're going to do, okay? So consider the following reaction, okay? That's what, first we got to do that, consider. Okay. Has everyone considered it? All right. You need more time to consider? Okay. All right, so we got CO reacting with hydrogen making methanol, CH3OH, that's methanol. Okay, the reaction mixture at 780 degrees Celsius. Initially contains CO and hydrogen at uh, those concentrations. At equilibrium, the CO concentration is 0.15. Okay, now we've got to backtrack. I said we we're going to find equilibrium concentrations using K. We'll do that in a couple. First, we're going to find equilibrium constants from uh, initial and equilibrium concentrations because after reading that, this problem, that's what we're going to do. Okay. All right, so this is a common uh, problem that we're going to need to solve where we know what we started out with. Okay, We started out with some CO at 0.5 and hydrogen at 1. And we know what our equilibrium concentration is for one or maybe more components. But we have to figure out all of them. Okay? And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using a technique called ice tables to do this. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our equation CO plus 2 hydrogen is an equilibrium with CH3OH. And then we come up with an ice table. So ice is I-C-E, ice. Right. And what they stand for is initial concentration change and then equilibrium concentrations. All right, so <coughs> in the initial concentration line for our table, we're gonna write our initial concentrations that we have. Uh, in our equilibrium concentration line, we're going to write down the equilibrium concentrations that we have. Then, usually, we're going to figure out what happened, and that's the change part. And then, we'll be able to figure out the rest of the table, and then, eventually, plug in those equilibrium concentrations into our equilibrium constant. Okay? All right. So, let's get started. All right. So, we've got, initially, it's telling you what it is, initial concentrations of CO is 0.5. So I'm going to put that right here, 0 0.500. Now we're calculating the equilibrium constant, uh, so we know that's going to be unitless, so I don't really uh, worry about my units for this table. And hydrogen is 1.00. What else we got? At equilibrium, the CO concentration is found to be 0.15. Right, so that's my equilibrium, zero er, CO, 0 0.15. All right, that's all the information we have. So we don't have any of this information. We don't have the change line. We don't have anything on methanol, CH3OH. We don't have the equilibrium concentration of hydrogen. But we have enough to figure out the rest. I promise you that. And you'll always have enough information to fill out the rest of the table, unless I screw up. I forget to tell you something. Eh, it's happened. But you should have everything. All right, so first thing, let's think about our initial concentration of methanol, so CH3OH. Our initial, that means T equals zero. Time equals zero, nothing has happened yet. I put some CO and some hydrogen in a flask with the cap on. Okay, I also have my goggles on. 
lab coat and gloves, long pants, closed toed shoes. But I put the CO and the hydrogen in the flask. Nothing's happened yet. So what is my concentration of CH3OH? Zero, yeah, it's zero. Nothing's happened. So I haven't made any product yet. And so that's something we can always assume. Unless it tells you otherwise, you can assume the concentration of your products is always going to be zero initially. We haven't made any yet. Nothing's happened. Okay. All right now for these problems, when we're looking for the K, we're calculating K, uh, we'll be able to figure out the change line. All right. And we'll find it out just by if we have initial and equilibrium concentrations for one of the species. All right. So let's look at this. So CO started out as 0.5, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's at 0.15. What happened? It decreased. It decreased. By how much? 0.35? So it went down by 0.35? Everybody see that? So that's what happened. That's my change. 0.5, now down to 0.14. It went down by 0.35. So 0 0.5 minus 0.35 equals 0.15. That's what we're doing. We're just solving for what happened. Okay. So 0 0.5 plus blank equals 0.15, negative 0.35. It went down by 0 0.35 moles per liter. And that's usually what's going to happen. We'll look at some different scenarios, but usually that's what's going to happen. What happens to the concentration of reactants as a function of time? They go down, right? They're going to go down. So this one went down by 0.35. All right. Now that we've got one change, we can figure out the other changes. Okay. So if we know that CO went down by 0.35, negative 0.35, what do you think happened to hydrogen H2? Went down, went down and Edward says by 0.7. Why did it go down by 0.7? Twice as much. So the coefficients of the balanced chemical equation, say that for every one mole, I know I'm not highlighting anything, but you know there's a one there. I just highlighted it. For every one mole of CO that is used up, I need two moles of hydrogen. Good old stoichiometry, back to save the day. Okay, and so this, 0.35, if that's how much CO is going down, hydrogen has to go down by twice as much, the coefficients. All right. So what do we think is going to happen to our concentration of CH3OH or methanol? It's going to go up or going to go down? It's going to go up. Yep. Nowhere to go but up from zero, right? Is that because we're using the reactants to make product? Exactly. The reactants are going to make, start making some of that product. As soon as they start reacting, the products are going to go up. Now we just need to think about how much. How much are they going to go up? 1.05? Hmm. So you added the 0.35 and 0.7? Yep, that's, I mean, yeah, I see where that's coming from. But let's just go back to stoichiometry. Stoichiometry has been our friend for so long. Let's just let it help us out one more time. 0.35, that's what it is. Why? Because we know that for every one, I know I didn't circle anything. You know there's a one there. For every one mole of CO, I'm going to make one mole of methanol. So if I used up 0.35, guess what? I'm going to make 0.35. Could we have used hydrogen change to figure that out too? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's just 2 to 1. So for every 2 moles of hydrogen that I use, I'm going to get 1 mole. So 0.7 divided by 2. Okay. And now comes the hard part. What's 1 minus 0.7? 0.3, all right, and then 0 plus 0.35, plus, are you sure, 0.35, okay, yeah, 
All right, so that wasn't that hard. But yeah, once you get those change lines, you can figure out the equilibrium concentration. All right. So, with the, with the system <laughs> from the 0.500, we take away the 0.15. The reason is negative 35 because of the blue stuff. Yep. So we knew, this is what we knew. So to figure out that first change line, we knew CO started at 0.5, and we knew at the end of the day, the equilibrium, once it's out of equilibrium, it's concentration of 0.15. That's, those were given to us. So it started out at 0.5, went down to 0.15. What happened? It went down by 0.35. So you just use a little bit of math to figure out the, the change if you know the initial and equilibrium concentration. Then we just use the coefficients of our balanced chemical equations, the stoichiometry, to figure out the rest based on those ratios. Edward? So we could have been only given the initial for the, uh, the initial for carbon monoxide and the um, equilibrium, and we could have figured out the initial time? No, I think we still would have needed some initial information for how you could. <laughs> if we do like we the equilibrium, we could have backtracked it, find the initial. I think we would have needed to know something about hydrogen. For methanol, we didn't need much because we can assume that it starts out at zero. All right, so now that we figured out our equilibrium line, that is what I'm going to use to calculate my K because that's what I want. And what is the value of the equilibrium constant? Nope, we're not finished. Don't worry, there's still like 15 minutes lecture. I know it's going fast. I know you're gonna be sad when it's over. But don't worry, there's still 15, 14 minutes, 45 seconds. Okay. All right, so what's our equilibrium constant expression? K equals, what's on top? CH3OH. And then over CO times hydrogen, right? To the okay. To the Two? Oh, I need a squared for that hydrogen? Oh, good. Good thing you let me know. All right, so now I'm just going to take all these values that I worked so hard to get and put them in that equilibrium line. All right, so methanols, 0.35, all over CO, 0 0.15, 0 0.3, squared. I'll be back to you. Twenty six? Twenty six. I'm here in two six. Twenty sixer. Two point six times ten to the first. <laughs> 